Coming to you today, talking about another very common use case that we see all the time relating to accounts and contacts. And really what we're getting at is when you have great information on your account, let's say, you want it to automatically go down to all your contacts. So we might do that as an address, right? So I have an address on my account. I want it to go to all my contacts. Maybe I want to do it as an account type, so or industry or something like that. Some description on the account, I want it to come down to the contact. So that can be for data integrity, that can be for filtering, that can be for reports, that can be for syncing with campaigns. There's a ton of reasons why you might want to get information from the account into the contact and we're going to show you exactly how to do that so the use case we're going to talk about is i'm looking at my good pal here form tester and when I scroll down, we have this field called network. You know, this is not exactly going to match up with the account in terms of name, but it's the same information that we want. So if I go over real quick to account, what I'm getting at is we have an industry field. And so for our purposes, for whatever reason, and yours might have slightly different purposes, you know, what I want is that if I have an industry on my account, I want to make sure that that same industry name goes into the network field right here on my client. And I want that to happen happen automatically. Of course, you could copy and paste it, but that's too much work. And I could also write code, but that's also a lot of work to find the developer, to do that, to maintain it. If I ever have to make a change, it's a big thing. So I don't really want to do that either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a workflow. I'm just going to quickly pause it while I create this workflow. So I've created this workflow and what I want the trigger to actually be. So you can see it's on accounts. That's where I've made it. So I'm thinking about it from the account perspective. And what I want to say is that, hey, anytime you've edited the industry, so anytime the industry changes, right, to any value, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna make sure we repeat it. Then I want something to happen. Obviously that's kind of the starting point. Hey, industry changes, I need to all my contacts to be changed as well. And so that's the first step. The second one, very much like a sample, I'm just gonna do, you know, put some parameters in so it doesn't mess up other things in the CRM. So I'm gonna say account name contains test, and that should work for us. We got test company there. And I'm only really gonna do it if the industry is not blank is not empty. So I don't want it to keep going and going and going if we have an, an empty industry. So that's looking pretty good for me. And so now what I get into is kind of my standard action, sure. But what we now have is a custom action. And this is really kind of the trick in all of this. We're going to come in here and do an advanced field update. So this is a really great tool. A lot of good stuff here. You can see <clears throat> all the different kind of different flows that we have. But the one we're going to talk about is the update related list records, right? So this is going to be exactly what we're thinking about. We're in the accounts. We want to update all of our contacts. We could update a lookup. So that's if I want to go the other way from contact to account. I could do a roll up. So roll up a bunch of information about my contacts, bring it up to the account and you know other things here. And we have other videos on that. But for this one, we're thinking about getting the industry information into that network field on the client. So I'm going to do that related list one. When I get in, basically what I can decide is who do I want it to go to? So here's a cool example, right? So let's say you have a hierarchy of accounts. You decide the industry at the master account, it goes down to all of the member accounts. So that's one option there. But in this case, again, we're doing the contacts. And then finally, when we get in here, this is where it's nice and easy. I can basically say the industry on the account needs to go to the network. Whoops, spelled that wrong. Network on the client. And it's really that simple. I could do other things on the client, right? So for example, if I needed to, if I wanted to update, I don't know, first name on the client to some static value, I don't know, I could do that. But obviously that's not a really real use case. So I'm gonna delete that. So this looks pretty good. I'm gonna hit save. I'm gonna say update network with account industry, All right? So this is maybe contact network with account industry. That looks good. And we're gonna hit save. So now I'm in my account. And honestly, this is pretty straightforward now. Basically what I can do is I can come in and I can say, okay, well this, now I know test company, the part of the fitness industry. So I'm gonna say go. So that's gone there. And now what's happened is uh, when I come into here, I'm gonna refresh the page and we're gonna be able to see that the industry has been translated into the into the network area and so let's just get it to load i'm going to pause while this load actually no quickly loaded so i refresh this page just so i can see it in the timeline looks like that went through which is which is great and then i come over here and sure enough that network was updated to fitness exactly what we expected so that's great and just to kind of show the extent of what's happened here we can also see we had other clients on this test company deal if i click on one of them tom testing here i'm gonna go down i can see the network's also been updated for them so really powerful. Now your account and your contacts are always going to be talking, always going to be saying the same thing. If you're interested in all, at all about doing this for your own CRM, you can check it out. Go to blueroot.ca slash Wes. Ton of great information here. We're going to talk about all the different flows that we have, all the different things you can do, 
how to get started and in four easy steps. We have gifts and things to walk you through it reviews from top partners in, in North America, and then how to download it. We have a 10 day trial, how to get started. So a lot of great stuff there. Give it a try. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. Thanks so much.